Welcome back to Grandma's Cookbook, and as you can see this week, it's a very abrupt recipe in the book here. It almost feels like one of those challenge things they have on British Bake Off, where you just have the ingredients and you have to figure out how to put it together. So I'm going to do that to my best abilities, and here we go. This is how you make apple brownies. Alright, so what I decided to do here was first take two eggs and combine that with two cups of sugar, whip it together until it's incorporated, and then to that add one cup of oil, it says. I went with vegetable oil here, and then whisk that until it's all incorporated. Next step was to add three cups of flour, but I did it in about one cup batches, where I just added a cup, wait until it was all incorporated, then add the second one, and then so on and so forth. And then on the final cup is when I also included one tablespoon of cinnamon, baking soda, and salt. And then mixed that all together until it was combined. And then finally, I added the three and a half cups of chopped apples. I went with Honeycrisp on this. You could use really any apple you wanted to. And also three-fourths cup of chopped nuts. Um, about this point is when I realized that it was pretty much impossible to mix this with a spatula, so I just dug in with my hands until it was very well mixed. And then I put into a 9 by 13 pan and then baked at 350 for one hour or so. Then pulled it out, let it cool completely, and voila, apple brownies. Now how do these things taste? Uh, really good. I liked them quite a bit. They're not technically a brownie, but that's what they're called in the recipe, so that's what we're going to go with. Very much recommend that you do these yourselves. These were pretty tasty. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time on another edition of Grandma's Cookbook. We'll see you later.